Hey everyone, I'm Timmy Scott, and if you're new here, welcome. As you can tell by the title of this video, there is a topic I want to address. It's a little bit of a heavy topic, it's not graphical or anything like that. But it's something I wanted to feel comfortable, comfortable in my own skin, being able to talk about it to you guys, and to my blood family who's going to be watching this. 10, 11 years ago, I used to be suicidal. I know. It's a pretty heavy topic. Not super heavy, but to an extent that I want people to get this. I've addressed in a few previous videos that I was in a Jehovah's Witness sheltered environment, but I had no choice. It was because of my parents. I didn't want to feel suicidal. I really didn't. But I had no choice. When you're constantly bombarded with negativity, the people you're around that are constantly lying to you, constantly lying to each other, how they're feeling and stuff like that, it takes an emotional, physical, and mental toll on your body. And it takes a toll on your mind and your well-being and all that stuff. I mean, sure, it's okay to have certain dark days to feel that way, but you can work it out to the point where you can feel more positive again than often than not. At least it's better than living a lie, a life of a lie to people around you and yourself. That's not what it should be about. Anyway, and I, again, I wanted to feel comfortable in my own skin being able to address that I used to be suicidal, but that's because of the Jehovah's Witnesses teaching, telling you that people that aren't Jehovah's Witnesses don't love you. So I believe that. And I was born into that religion. I made that these videos before about it. But I didn't get this in depth about it. But not that graphical. Because it really isn't. But anyway. In a sense, I anyway, I came I came this close to Wanting to, wanting to end my own life. I didn't want to, but I felt like that was the only option I had. I thought to myself that it would get me away from this negative environment I was in. And again, the Jehovah's Witnesses teaching teach you that people that aren't Jehovah's Witnesses don't love you. So I believed that. I didn't want to. But I had no choice. And I couldn't unfortunately tell my family why I was feeling the ways I did more often than not back then, 10, 11 years ago. Why I was feeling those really heavy emotions. I would get sick six two months to a year when those times occurred. I would start feeling sick physically sick, like, like, really sick, and I could never understand why. I thought to myself, when am I ever going to get better, in my head anyway, when am I ever going to get better? I wanted to get better, but I didn't know when that was ever going to happen. I thought I was going to be stuck in the environment that I was living in. 90% of the time, I was in a Jehovah's Witness and sheltered environment, and you're supposed to live that environment, that lifestyle, anyway. And again, I was constantly, day and night, waking up, going to bed, constantly bombarded with negativity. I didn't want that choice. It's not like I, again, signed a waiver saying, put me in a negative environment. This is what I want. I didn't want that. But I had to keep all my feelings to myself. What I was feeling. Because I knew no one would understand me. No one would get why I was feeling that way. I'm not going to be the YouTuber... No, I got no problem with other YouTubers crying on camera. It's just something I'm not going to do anyway, at least for me. I got no problem with other YouTubers crying on camera when they talk about their backstory, what they went through. But for me anyway, I'm not going to. At least not on camera anyway. It's okay, though, to feel some dark days when you get to that point. 
It's a part of your life. It's a part of life. It's a part of your human nature. Everyone's human nature. To feel some dark days. And then you work it out. And then you're back to being positive again. Because it's a part of life. Not because of what a religious cult tells you. That, oh, just rely on Jehovah. Everything will be better again. Everything will be positive. Just, just rely on him. He'll make everything better. That's not how it should be. It shouldn't be that. It's, life should be, again, working things out. Having actual, true emotional support. Being able to come out of those dark days and being, again, being a positive person. Being back to the happy person that you are. And maybe even better than that. But not so much in a narcissistic way, but that's besides the point. <laughs> in a way that you can go through life being more happy again. Being more positive. It shouldn't matter what you are or who you are as a person. It shouldn't matter if you're gay, if you're a Wiccan, or whatever. As long as it's safe and it's not hurting the ones you love, it shouldn't matter in those, in that concept. At least for me, it shouldn't matter. I'm sorry to my family that I know are going to stalk and watch my video. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't be honest to you back 10, 11 years ago, but I had no choice. I lived with parents who lived a life of a lie, who lied to themselves and everyone around them. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you what I was feeling because I wasn't, I couldn't express my feelings to anyone. I was too afraid to. I was too afraid to express my feelings. I have some Jehovah's Witness families out there that are, again, going to watch my videos. <laughs> I'm, again, I'm sorry I couldn't express tell you and get you, because I knew you wouldn't intentionally want to understand, you wouldn't understand it, and you wouldn't get it, why I was going through those feelings more often than I did. <laughs> it's because of where I, being constantly bombarded with negativity, being constantly told that I couldn't be something that I wanted to be, or whatever. It shouldn't matter if I wanted, again, if I wanted to be gay, be a Wiccan, or all that stuff. It shouldn't matter a religious cult tells you that it's not acceptable. It shouldn't matter. It's part of human nature to feel any sort of emotion. But it's also part of human nature to work things out because of the emotional support. And that's what I have. I'm finally living a better life for myself. I've been gone, as I mentioned in previous videos, a little better than five years. And I'm much happier where I am now than where I was back when I was living at home. Every six months to a year, it seemed like that I was almost always constantly getting sick. And I didn't understand why. It was, it was again, it was because of the negative environment I was around. I was constantly being bombarded with negativity. And I want to strongly address that. That it's not like I signed a waiver and say, put me in a negative environment. I didn't want that. But again, I had no choice when I was in that lifestyle, that environment. People constantly lying to each other. Lying to themselves. I lived through that. That's why I was always, that's why it affected my health and stuff like that. And again, I'm finally in a place where I have emotional support. I have people who, or at least a person, it doesn't matter. At least I have someone who I live with that actually cares about me, that loves me for who I am and what I am. And that's what I love about the person I'm with as a friendship type thing anyway. Don't get any ideas, I know people will. Whatever. <laughs> it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter what emotions you feel and etc. But unfortunately, my family that I know that watches my videos and stalks my videos and stuff like that, I know they're going to be watching this. Again, I'm sorry I disappointed you. You guys lost an amazing person. You lost a great person. But I did this for myself. And like I said before, 
You don't hurt the ones you love. You shouldn't hurt the ones you love. If you love them enough, you wouldn't physically, emotionally hurt them. That's unfortunately what my fam blood family did to me. And like I said, I'm sorry you guys lost an amazing, great person. I get told that I'm a really nice person, but I'm too afraid to, and like, sometimes I'd be too afraid to accept that, I guess, when people tell me that, because I did it on occasions, I don't want to believe that. But anyway, again, it's okay to have dark days, it's okay to feel sad, negative, angry, or whatever. But then you have people who really do love you and care about you. They help you overcome that. You work things out. You work things out with yourself and the ones with you that want to help you. You take that help into account. You don't live a life of a lie. You don't lie to people around you. But that's just me anyway. That's the video I wanted. This is the type of video I wanted to put out for people who might or might not understand and to the people that do emotionally support me in a positive way thank you for always being there for me it really means a lot to me that you actually care about me as a human being because that's what we are we're human beings and we care about each other because we want to not because we have to there's a difference in that but anyway in this video shout out goes to Cindy Arn Arnum She's commented on, she's positive, she's commented positive thoughts to me on a couple of my videos. And I really appreciate that. That helps me a lot. That makes me feel good. And I hope it's made you feel good too, because I know it has. And I really enjoy that. So if this video has helped you out in any way, leave a positive comment. That would be the best. And if you want a shout out, I strongly suggest what you got out of this video, and if this has helped, and I know it will, especially to my ex Jehovah's Witness friends that watch this video, and I know I have ex Jehovah's Witness friends that watch it. Sorry if this video is kind of long, it doesn't matter to me, just wanted to put out my feelings, and I know again, I have blood family that are going to stalk and watch my videos, so again, sorry you lost an amazing person, but I just wanted to do this for myself, and again, I'm looking forward to hearing your comments, what you thought of it. I know I'm going to get some positive feedback on this, more than not. <laughs> With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.